Hi everyone, Lainey here with Design by Lainey. I just want to show you one of my favorite things, most common thing that I use in Illustrator when designing wedding invitations. If you are interested in a career in wedding invitation design, please check out our free seven day invitation design crash course, which is linked below in the description of this video. And of course, make sure you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on all of our other tutorials. I'll link our playlist in the corner of all of your graphic design tutorials that are similar to this video for you. So I'm here in Illustrator, which I use for almost all of my invitation design work. And I typed out some beautiful things and just want to show you what you can do with them with this character panel. The way you get to the character panel is by clicking window, type, and character. And I have this one over here on my main panel so that it's always there for me and I always click this little guy. It's in the same place in a lot of the other Adobe programs and has a lot of the same features. So you can always find it in InDesign or Photoshop if you need to mess with text, but I do most of my design work in Illustrator. So the number one thing that I typically do is mess with tracking, which is this guy right here, set the tracking. And I just like to have a little bit more space in my fonts, usually somewhere around 50 or even 100, depending on the font. I'm gonna stick with 50 here, make this guy bigger for you. And I'll just go back to zero, just so you can kind of see how much nicer it is, and it just gives a lot extra space, a little breathing room for those letters, so I love that. You can also do something where you change everything to all caps with just one click. You don't have to type anything in caps. You can also do, of course, small caps, superscript, and subscript. You can't really tell unless you're doing that <laughs> in comparison to something else. So I often will do all caps or small caps, really liking the small caps in this font. Another thing that you can do is change the line that everything's sitting on. So right now we've got this line that everything is sitting on except for this five is a little bit below that and that's okay it's part of the font but sometimes that can get annoying so you're going to go over here which is the baseline shift and you can just make that go up or down however you want to do it i'm not saying i would do it in this particular case but i definitely find times to use that tool if you ever need to rotate the font for some reason like if it doesn't have an italic version or the version that you want is a little too italic you can also rotate it over here Again, not saying it's the best idea. Let's try that. Sometimes you can find it so it looks a little bit like italics. You can kind of fake it a little bit. I typically use this with script fonts if there's something that's got a little bit more of an angle than I want. The last part of this that I use a lot is just this line spacing tool. So you can make things closer together or a little bit further apart. I grabbed this other block of text from a wedding invitation and you can see how spacing is really important. So this one's automatically at about 15 or so, but if we did want to increase that, it makes a big difference into the overall view of the wedding invitation. And I definitely don't like things to be too squished because then these descenders like G's will start to encroach on the other line. So I usually like to keep it a little bit larger than the actual font. So just to recap, this character panel can be found in window, type, character, and you can also put it on your panel over here if you wanna be able to access it all the time. You can use this tool to do tracking to create some distance between the letters on your piece. You can also do the opposite to make them closer together if you want. You can change the size of the font, the type of font you're working with, the line height, rotation, and if you want to do a baseline shift, you can do that as well. Let me know what you thought of this video and what other graphic design tutorials would be helpful for you as invitation designers. And if you are interested in a career in stationary design, please check out our seven day free invitation design crash course. That's gonna be an amazing resource for you. It's linked in the description below.